Hey guys, TK Fatality here. Um, just got my Hot Pog HD TV hard in the mail today, so I'm just going to unbox it here. Damn, look at that. So instead of ordering off all the other websites, I ordered mine straight from Hop Hog themselves. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it, Hop Hog. But uh, this is what it looks like. Alright. Open this up real quick. I actually just recently bought it, so they got it out to me in about four days. Uh, their headquarters is in New York. I think it took like two days to clear, and then once it cleared, they shipped it to me right away, but uh, Sunday is what uh, prevented it from getting to me early. Uh, I'm in Jersey. They're in New York, so it's awfully fast. But Here's what everything looks like. I'll bring the camera down. Installation guide. Here's their software. They actually do give you HD cables. So you don't have to run out and buy them. Fuck is this? Seems to be some kind of antenna. Check out what that is. USB. Here's the remote. And here is the unit. Be down here. All right. Here's the actual hop hog unit. It's very light. Um, you have all your HD outputs here. Here's your in, here's your out. So uh, if you're running it off of Xbox 360 and you have your own HDI component cables, you're going to be putting your uh, HD component cables here and your composite audio cables here unless you have uh, uh, what you gonna call it surround sound then you would put the blaster input uh, through the opt-in um, here's your out cables which you plug these into and then that would go into your TV in your front here you have uh, I believe this is an output for video uh, left and right audio and your S video and your power buttons right here uh, in a second here I'll set it up and power it up for you guys to take a look at it came with uh, bottom left is the actual unit uh, The remotes right next to it on its right the software is right after that the power outlet uh, The power supply for the whole unit is uh, all the way on the right your HD cables are in the top right the next to that on the left is the connection to your computer Right underneath that is a infrared uh, antenna, I believe for the remote, and then your basic instructions in the box. Alright, I got the hob hog set up, I just have to finish installing everything on my computer. Uh, it installed pretty easily, uh, the only thing that's a little weird, I'm sure it's for quality, is these things are thick as hell. They go behind the TV, you can see how thick they are. They'll plug right in the back. I'll give you some more light. Yeah, they all plug in right back here, real easily. And then you take your component cables, or your Xbox HD cables, and plug them right underneath them. They're a little thick, but everything's pretty easy. Put all my cables hooked up. This is for uh, to connect to the computer. 
your power supply, infrared transmitter, the remote, it starts a program, and then I have the install CD. Uh, this account actually just got suspended, um, so I'm going to have to uh, use another account, so I'll have to make another account real quick, just to show you guys some of the quality. And it's cool, because my firewire just came in the mail, so I'll be able to put this video up pretty soon. Alright, see you guys in a minute. I found some driver problems with it, but I'm sure I could fix it. Alright, so it started recording. And that's the big problem I found. The video driver just crashes. Nice. That's my one big problem with the hot bug. After solving the problem from earlier, um, everything's hooked up fine now. Uh, what it was was I had an outdated NVIDIA driver in my computer, so it kept crashing. I would show you this on Hypercam, but Hypercam's fucked up, so I'll just record it. See? Now everything's up and running, and it won't crash. Um, as of right now, I believe I have my settings on, let's see, 10.9 megabits, but, um, you can boost it up to 13.5 and shit, but I noticed it, uh, slows down your computer a little bit, uh, as long as you change your settings on your computer over to all performance, uh, if you have a laptop like I do, uh, inside my laptop I do have a... 2.5 gigahertz processor, 4 gigs of RAM, and so forth. So I have plenty of capabilities to run it. But uh, if you're going to get one of these uh, HD PVRs, I suggest you have a computer that can power it. Otherwise, you're going to be screwed. But uh, yeah, pretty much leave it on those settings, and you still get great quality. Alright, that's all I have to say right now for the uh, hop hog. I'll be putting out some videos in a little bit. Uh, so far, um, I uploaded one video onto YouTube and it takes a while for the HD to process, but uh, after it processes, the video comes out pretty crisp. And then I end up using, I did have my, my Dazzle, and I end up using... Dazzle Video Creator Plus HD's program, which is uh, Pinnacle Studio 14, and I actually cracked it, so I have Pinnacle Studio 14 Ultimate Edition. So um, I suggest if you are getting the Hopog HD PVR, you get uh, Pinnacle Studio 14 Ultimate Edition. You can easily get the crack on uh, Pirate Bay or Demonoid. Uh, both torrent sites very popular. Um, fairly easy to get a hold of uh, suggest you get those for your editing and so forth because they're uh, that and Sony Vegas are like the only two good editors that will actually pick up the M2TS if you're recording on your PS3 otherwise you'll have to convert it over to MP4 formatting uh, otherwise seems to be a good product so far I'll uh, let you guys know if there's any problems